To tell you the truth, recently, I, I haven't been too hot on progress. Those big new glass buildings make me uncomfortable. Can't even get a, a comfortable chair in one of those places. <clears throat> of course, yeah, I, I, I could be wrong because oftentimes I, I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So this is what's going to keep out the bad people, huh? Looks like a fun toy. Well, it isn't. That happens to be an unreasonable response to a reasonable situation. <laughs> I don't want to go to that thing any more than the rest of you do. <laughs> like my mother has said on numerous occasions, the least you can do is try to act normal. <laughs> we have the best uh, market range for selling your jeans in the Cincinnati area. But listen, why talk sales? Well, I can show you graphic slides to illustrate that very point. Lights, Mickey. All right, let's get right on to our first slide. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea where that pornographic slide came from. <laughs> Now, this, of course, is my trip to Jamaica. <laughs> Where's Travis? Downstairs, donut shop. Oh, call down. Tell him never to come in here again and have uh, Les beaten up for no particular reason. The following bulletin has just been received on the WKRP teletype. Monster lizard ravages East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Mayors in five New England cities have issued emergency requests for federal disaster relief as a result of the giant lizard that descended on the East Coast last night. <laughs> Officials say this lizard, the worst since 78, <laughs> has devastated transportation, disrupted communications, and left many hundreds homeless. B is out on the printer. It's Monster Blizzard. <laughs> oh. Now, in an exclusive Les Nesman interview recorded on the scene, here is Dr. Johnny Fever, local radio personality, who is on the scene. This is Dr. Johnny <laughs> Say, WKRPites, it's that lucky KRP win a keen portable radio time when yours truly, insert name here, Get down, Lester. <laughs> oh, boy. It's the Copper Cobb Award. Ooh. I'm lonely, but no one can tell. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. My space has been violated. Congratulations, it's about time. It's a bad rule. <laughs> Who is this? It's me, Mr. Carlson, Les Nesman. <laughs> Good gravy. And so, in summary, this German piggy went to the common market. This Chinese piggy stayed home. This Soviet piggy had turkey. And our American piggy had none. This is Les Nesman saying wee, 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 wee all the way home. Morning. Morning. Did you hear anything about a giant lizard on the East Coast? <laughs> My wife and I went to Washington about uh, three years ago. The Lincoln Memorial is pretty good. There's a great big guy sitting in a chair. 
What do you say, beautiful? How about uh, you and me getting it together tonight? You only go around once in life, so why not grab a little gusto? <laughs> like little gustos her <laughs> you see that's how you do it <laughs> you shouldn't take the 50 less the painting's worth 500 now herb owes you half of that <laughs> What's the stroke feel like? <laughs> Look, I, I, I just want the painting. I'll tell you what, Les. I'll give you your 50, and I'll write you out a check for 100. All right, Herb. All right. Painting's yours. I'll just, uh, I'll just buy it back for $300. No. I like the painting. You don't. 400. No, you don't understand. Not everything in this world is for sale. Not everything is commerce. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Deal. Her. Do you know anything about a call for Ruggles the Fourth? Oh, I'll get that. Thank you. I purchased a painting which you donated to a church auction. Yes, right. Um, would you be so kind as to, you know, give me a brief history on that painting? Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. Au revoir. <laughs> Her son did it. <laughs> he paints a painting a day. <laughs> because he's in prison for selling quaaludes. 